In this video, we are going to convert these parametric equations. We are going to convert these parametric equations into its Cartesian form, meaning y equals something involving x. So the trick is to rewrite this, well, make t the subject. The trick is to make t the subject, and then you can put this thing into the t here. So that would eliminate the t. So let's, let's start. The trick is to, to uh, make t the subject. So natural law of both sides, that will then give you this. And then divide both sides by negative 2. So that will then give you this thing here. So now you can put this into, into the t. So that will eliminate the t. Well, put, it, put this into the t. That will then give you this thing here. And then, uh, and then get this times this whole thing here. That will then give you this. So now, now hang on. So, uh, so now, um, if, so, so we are currently here. If I were to give you this, if I were to give you um, natural log of x squared, you would then uh, be able to move this down here so that so it would become 2 natural log of x. Well, here I've given you negative 2, so you can actually push the negative 2 back into here. So, so, so it would be natural log x to the power of negative half. So that would then give you this. So basically, push this negative 2 into here. So that would then give you this thing here. And then, uh, and then now, um, whenever you see e to the natural log, then uh, it will simplify to to this. And then now, this block multiplying this block, this is one over x squared. So that will then give you this. But the thing is, um, so so this is so so we've in effect converted it into um, into the Cartesian form. So so this graph here would then look like this, um, something along the line of this. Okay, so this is y equals um, this is y equals x oops, y equals six over x squared. But the thing is, if you um, if you get a graph plotter and plot these parametric equations, you would get a graph looking like this, just on one side. Well, if if you think about it, if you look at this thing here, um, uh, when, when when you see this, um, in your mind picture e to the power of negative two to when you see this, um, you should visualize this graph here. You see, this thing here tells you the x location. Well, if you look at this here, the x location, uh, the x location is always positive. It's never in the negative realm. That's why. That's why. If, well, if, if you look at this, um, if you look at this thing here, it's well, when, when you look at this graph, you should picture this in your mind. And then it's saying it's saying that um, this thing here would never be in the negative side. So meaning x will never be in the, in the um, x will never be in the negative side. It's always in the positive side. So when when you convert this when you convert this it will give you it will give you it will give you this. But then you need to um, you need to discard this side because the original parametric equations um, the, the original equations here. Will not enter the negative realm. So, so once you've once you've got to your answer, uh, once you've got to to your final answer, discard the negative side by saying that um, x must be uh, greater than uh, than zero. So this will then describe will then describe this, which is exactly what our parametric equations were saying. Okay. So converting this will then give you will then give you this thing here. Okay.